Hey YouTube, this is Model Railroad Operations, and today we're going to be covering the build progress of the Sierra Central Railway. This is the first update video covering the progress that I've made so far on the layout, and I apologize in advance for this video not being terribly entertaining because it is mostly pictures. I, uh, to tell you the truth, I wasn't really bothered to, you know, take a whole lot of video. There are a couple videos in here, but not really, uh, not really much beyond that. Most it's all pictures beyond that. And uh, so I'll sh I'll be showing uh, progress pictures from the layout, as well as some pictures of some equipment that I've that I've done up, both for the Sierra Central Railway and some of the narrow gauge equipment that I've done as well. So, without further ado. Let's get right into the pictures, and basically how this is going to work is I will explain them as they come, and I'll give a brief explanation, and yeah, so without further ado, let's get into it. So these first few images here are just the basic uh, bench work on top of the cabinets. I used... 1x2s for the supports, and particle board for the main part of the benchwork. And basically what happened is uh, I hired a junk removal company to come and take out the remnants of the old layout so we can put all this in, so I can do it quickly. And uh, here I am just testing out the track arrangement. This is the unboxing of the new NCE system, NCE-DCC system. And here I am starting to lay the cork roadbed for the staging yards. And here is the Stockton staging. And over here, actually no, that is Stockton staging and that is Merced staging we're looking at right now. And here is the datum point for the DCC bus wires that I then laid afterwards going of course through the pigeonholes in the supports. And now I'm laying out the yard ladders with cork roadbed. At that point I actually learned that I need to stagger cork roadbed. I made that mistake on the west wall staging yard and here I am testing out a couple cars on the ladder. Here is the yard ladder for the west wall staging yard. Again, representing Merced. And this is the first DCC test. Just plugged in the power cab and hooked up a little test track and ran an engine on it. And this was a pretty monumental moment because what you're seeing now is the first engine movement on the layout. This was in one of the staging yards. At this point, I had hooked them up and got power to the track and everything. And this is the first engine movement for the Stockton staging yard. And now, what you're looking at is the wiring connections that I use for the staging yards. I just ran the leads to some connector caps, whatever they're called, and ran them to the bus wires from there. For this, for the other staging yard, however, I used um, the more traditional uh, uh, suitcase connector method. 
And at this point, I had screwed in the last uh, piece of the first level bench work. And now I'm starting the process of laying foam. So I got one sheet on that end and just testing out the arrangements of the track and whatnot. And now I've glued down the foam with, um, with uh, liquid nails and I'm weighing down the foam right now to keep it from expanding upward. And then I've laid in subsequent sheets of foam on the Calaveritas, that's, that's the name of the town. And now I am laying the, 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 the leads or the, the ramps, the grades coming up on the staging yards. So doing that in both directions. And now I'm laying in the cork roadbed up to the crossing. And now I am actually, you know, I'm properly laying the track in Calvaritas. And here is uh, an early test train on the section up to the crossover. Some more shots of the track lane. And this here is the first train into Calaveritas, led by a Central California Coast Mikado. And now, this is the most recent progress photo. I am making the grades that will lead up to the elevated foam on the first level. And as you saw in the, uh, the train in Calvaritas photo, these are the uh, box cars, tank cars as well, that I've done up for the Sierra Central. Unfortunately, that's the one photo I have of those so far, but I, had, I did take plenty of photos of the narrow gauge equipment that I weathered, and here's a caboose that I lettered for the San Juan Central. Of course, uh, Malcolm Furlow's uh, famous project layout. So, so I really, I, I like how that turned out with the weathering and everything. And, and I also uh, did up a Blackstone K27 for the San Juan Central as well, which I also enjoy how it turned out. And then there's a San Juan Central boxcar. As you can see, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm quite, I've become quite the fan of the San Juan Central uh, throughout the process of designing this layout. But here is a boxcar for the Carson, Colorado, which is the main narrow gauge railroad that I'm going to be modeling when I get around to building the third level. And here is a recent eBay purchase. It is a DCC and sound equipped little uh, fictitious narrow gauge diesel uh, that's, uh, that's you know, in sort of an Alco design. And I'll probably paint it up in a Burlington Northern livery sometime in the future, that or have somebody paint it up for me. And then here's some more uh, Carson and Colorado equipment. And this is actually a little bit outdated because uh, I did a, uh, I, re I got my decals and uh, I did a much better job at decaling those uh, Blackstone engines. And uh, I'll probably go back at some point and improve the weathering on them and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's uh, basically it. So hope you enjoyed this first uh, Sierra Central update video. I know there wasn't a lot to see here, and just here's one more shot of the, the whole narrow gauge contest that I staged. Now, I know there wasn't a whole lot to uh, see here. Uh, this wasn't the most entertaining thing on earth, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless, and I'll see you in the next one. So, thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the Twitch. See you next time.